In this video, we are going to take a look at this fantastic steel hull long range explorer yacht called CV70. Make sure you stay tuned because as well as looking inside her engine room and wheelhouse, I will be sharing some of the details where you can find out more about acquiring this unique vessel because at the time of making this video, she is currently listed for sale. This steel trawler yacht was built in 2004 by Tansu Yachts. She has a length overall of 21.25 meters, a beam of 6.54 meters, and a draft of 3.3 meters. She is powered by twin 510 horsepower Cummins CTA engines, giving her a cruising speed of 9.5 knots with a top speed of 11 knots. When motoring at her cruising speed, her range is around 2,400 nautical miles. The fuel consumption of CV70 is low. She burns as little as 70 liters per hour at around 9.5 knots. If you're happy to reduce the revs and cruise at eight knots, this Explorer yacht burns between 45 to 50 liters an hour. Before we take a look inside, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel as 85% of the people who watch this video will forget to. When it comes to her accommodation, CV70 has one master cabin, one double cabin and one triple cabin, giving her a total of seven berths. She also has a crew cabin with three berths. The ensuite in the forward cabin is large and clutter free. As you can see, this Explorios has been kept to a very high standard by her crew. The current captain has been living on board continuously for the last 11 years. Personally, I love how the interior has been designed. Its layout means that the crew won't have to spend too much of their valuable time keeping everything clean. Headroom and ceiling height is 200 to 210 centimeters all around the vessel. So for people like me, I am six foot four inches. This vessel, unlike some others, won't pose a hazard when it comes to hitting one's head on the overheads. As we look around this Explorer yacht, remember that she was built in 2004. You would not think so judging by how immaculate her interior is. Her current owner has invested lots of time and effort into ensuring that she has been kept at her best. There is also plenty of storage aboard this vessel with maximum use of all available spaces and compartments. What do you think of the accommodation area? Let me know in the comments below. Before we take a look at the wheelhouse and engine room, let us take a look at the saloon and galley. As we enter the saloon from the cockpit, we find a cozy seating area to starboard with a retractable flat screen television. This area is located opposite a table and a second seating area. Two large windows ensure that this area is flooded with daylight. I love the model of this ship. It is the sort of vessel you will find on my second YouTube channel, link in the video description. Moving forward from the saloon into the galley, we pass the stairs leading down into the accommodation area. The large galley located on the port side is extremely well kitted out. It has a hob and cooker, microwave and double sink. Two large portrait windows keep the area well lit and ventilated. Forward of the large galley on the port side is the captain's cabin. And opposite the captain's cabin on the starboard side is where you'll find the crew accommodation. In this area is where we find the day head, which considering the size of the vessel, I think is a really decent size. Now that we have finished checking out the interior spaces aboard CV70, let us head out onto the upper deck and take a look around outside. As we board this vessel from the transom, we find the boat deck located to port. 
with a decent sized rigid inflatable tender that is fitted with a four stroke Yamaha outboard engine. Forward of the boat deck is this excellent al fresco dining area with two tables along with adjoining seating. I love the exposed gunwales on board this Explorer yacht and the fact that she has side decks to port and starboard. The overhang from the sun deck ensures that this is a great area to retreat from the sun's rays. Now we head up to the wheelhouse via the stairs located on the port side of the vessel. As you ascend, you get reminded as to the roots of this boat. I love the commercial feel of this little ship. It really adds to her Explorer Yacht credentials. And as we enter the wheelhouse, again, we get the sense and feeling that we are on board a boat that has been designed and built for serious cruising. The wheelhouse has those telltale forward raking windows with built-in vents, something you find often on commercial trawl yachts. To ports we find a large table that can be used for charts. Note also the CCTV monitor, another important safety feature. Of course on the helm we find the usual suite of navigation electronics and engine management systems. One of the things I love about this wheelhouse is that you get a great view aft thanks to those windows. There is also ample seating up here for any inquisitive guests who want to get a captain's eye view of what is happening around the vessel. Being a former volunteer of the RNLI, I am passionate about safety at sea and it is great to see that not only is the life raft stowed inboard for easy access, but that there is also a life buoy for man overboard situations. This sun deck is such a great area with excellent views and is afforded some shade from the sun thanks to the bimini. You can just imagine being sat up here with your favorite people as you cruise to your next destination or as you sit at anchor enjoying some sundowners before grabbing a ride aboard the tender to enjoy a well-deserved evening ashore. Note also the vast amount of bottle holders for keeping your favorite tipple nice and secure. From the sun deck, we also get a great view of the large and spacious boat deck with that fantastic tender. Now let us head forward so that we can check out this vessel's Portuguese bridge and peer down onto the bow. The large side deck aboard CV70 make walking around this boat a breeze. The high guard rails ensure that safety is not an issue when you are punching through the inevitable rough weather that you are bound to come across as you explore parts of the world that you have always dreamed of visiting. Access down to the bow from the Portuguese bridge is via this ladder. I love the short rounded nose of the bow, I really think that it adds to this vessel's character. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Even the decks on the Portuguese bridge are very wide. There is also a handrail located underneath the forward raking windows for extra safety whilst the sea. Now as promised earlier in the video, I said that we would take a look inside CV70's engine room and machinery spaces. There are two generators on board this vessel, a Northern Light 10 kilowatt generator and a Westerbeek 33 kilowatt generator. CV70, which stands for Carrier Vessel 70, was initially sketched and designed according to Category A Ocean Going Unrestricted Class, so the new lucky owner could quickly put her back in the class. The vessel carries the Turkish flag and has been used only in Turkey and Greece, so the current owners 
didn't require a class certificate. Asia Yacht Brokers, the listing broker for this yacht, also have a steel thickness measurement report from October 2018 that is proof of having all of the plates in or more than the required minimum thicknesses. When making and uploading this video, RV70 is listed for sale for 1,230,000 Singaporean dollars, which is around 883,000 US dollars, 862,000 euros, or 734,000 pounds. If you want to learn more about RV70, I will add a link to Asia Yacht Brokers in the video description. The boat is currently located in Turkey. I'd like to say a big thanks to my channel members for supporting my channel as it grows. If you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member by clicking on the drop down box in the top right of the screen or by sending me a super thanks. If you are a member of my channel and want to join my members only Discord server, please let me know in the comments. If you head down to the video description, you will also find a link to my new YouTube channel and my free newsletter. So please feel free to check them out. If you have a vessel that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then please feel free to send me a direct message via Instagram or send me an email to john at yacht-boy.com. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, Fair winds and following seas.